Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Case Group. In this short presentation, we're going to take a look at the V-Ray Stereoscopic Rig and some of the new features that we have added to it in V-Ray 2.0. So if we take a look at the scene, it is pretty simple. And I just want to render it uh, in stereoscopic mode. I want to render two images. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new V-Ray Stereoscopic Helper. And I'm going to make sure that I'm rendering both views and that I have checked the adjust resolution checkbox. Now I'm going to hit render and I'm going to pause the recording until the rendering finishes. So as you can see, even though we have a pretty simple scene, it took us two minutes and 40 seconds to render. And this is once because we have a very, very strong depth of field effect. And the other reason is because we have to render the image twice. And we have included some optimizations, so both images are sharing the GI solutions but for the other part of the rendering, each image is rendered separately. What we have done in V-Ray 2.0 is that we have actually discovered a way to speed up things. And uh, to do this, we're going to use this set of options here in the stereoscopic rig, which are called shade map options. So what we're going to do is we're going to first create a shade map, and then we're going to use this map to render the final image. So I'm going to switch the shade map into a render shade map mode, and I'm going to hit render. And again, I'm going to pause the recording. So before that, as you can see, we're just rendering one of the images and we're not rendering any depth of field effects. But for the entire rendering, I'm just going to pause the recording now. So this time it took us only 51 seconds to render this image. And what I can do now is I'll go to use shade map mode at hint render again. And this time the rendering will take uh, a lot less time. So it should finish in a couple of seconds. And as you can see, it goes much, much faster. I'm not going to pause this time. And now rendering is complete. And it took 30 seconds to render this image. So as you can see, this method really speeds up the rendering. And uh, it is very useful in single images. It will be even more useful when I'm rendering animations, for example, a fighter animation. And another thing that I can do is I can just select my camera now and, for example, change the amount of uh, depth of field. So uh, let me increase the F number a little bit to decrease the depth of field. And I'm going to also adjust the shutter speed. And I'm going to render again. And we can use the old shade map that we uh, rendered before that to render the image with the new depth of field settings. So now as you can see, we have a lot of less depth of field and this probably will create a little bit faster render times. So as you can see, the shade map options really allow us to speed up things uh, to when rendering uh, stereoscopic images or when rendering motion blur and depth of field effects. And uh, in the end, this will be especially useful if we have animation because then the difference will be much, much greater. So this concludes this uh, short demo. I'm Dimitar Krustev Jimmy, and I thank you for watching.